today we're here at Just Jersey in Morristown. Let's go in and check it out. All right, so I'm so excited here to be with Paul Miller, one of the co-owners of Just Jersey here in Morristown. Um, not only is it a great local business, but the products are all made by designers and manufactured here in the Garden State. Uh, so Paul, how did you come up with this great idea? Well, really the credit goes to Tina Bologna, my partner, who's uh, you know out taking care of other parts of the business now. Um, her idea was to create a marketplace for local goods and artisans and, and small businesses. And at the time, she was uh, very active in her kids' school and kind of tired of the uh, limitations of wrapping paper and chocolate bars and thought that there was a better opportunity to support the local economy and create a teachable moment for young people to, to learn about you know, how your consumer dollars affect uh, the community economy. So she started a catalog with about 30 vendors or so offering to link those makers to the schools um, to address their fundraising needs. And she did that for a couple of years, and it was a tough business model. By the time you gave enough to the schools mm -hmm. to make it worth their while, we're very committed to making sure that the artists are made whole, so didn't leave a lot left over to make a viable business. So she approached me in the summer, fall of 2014 and said, hey, let's try it as a retail store. And uh, so we did, right in this spot here on South Street in Morristown. And we started with those 30 vendors or so. Uh, gave it a test run for the holidays that year, and the response was really positive. That's and great. so that January, we kind of reconfigured the space to be more permanent, uh, you know, invested in a little bit more infrastructure. The first year, <laughs> uh, Tina would like to get rid of all the, the photos because it was folding tables and more burlap than any store should have. <laughs> and, uh, and it's really evolved into a beautiful showroom that, uh, you know, makes every one of these deserving products look yeah. as good as it can. And a second store in Montclair, a mobile store that we take around to festivals and things. Mm. People climb into the truck and shop from it. I didn't know it's that. That's incredible. It's truly a showroom, so that's fun. And what kind of products are the most exciting? Well, exciting or popular? Yeah, I mean, popular. I guess there's different, you know, I, I, I think excitement is kind of in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> yeah. I, I really love a lot of the furniture. Um, got a beautiful, you know, array of of home goods um, for how you know housing accessories and interior design uh, certainly my wife and, and a lot of uh, people get excited about the jewelry uh, the body care um, but it, it, the evolution was really interesting because when we first opened it was really about supporting the local artists and we didn't have any of the Jersey theme things mm. it was like you know let's support the economy the artists and that was the hook and and the, the, I think the growth of the eat local, buy local, shop local, you know, it was good timing. Um, but we totally underestimated the Jersey pride piece. Hmm. So everybody asked for, you know, where's the shape of Jersey and the name New Jersey and Garden State and of course Jersey Girls. You know, you can plat and we found that you can put Jersey Girls something on just about any <laughs> product and people love it. So um, you know, our top selling products are, you know beautiful marble coasters that have all different kinds of designs, uh, s mostly Jersey themed in this store and uh, some different ones in our other store. We also um, sell a lot of pillows. I don't know if we have any behind us here, but um, great maker in Newark that uh, is a prolific graphic artist uh, as a profession that taught himself to sew and now he puts all these great designs mm. on the fabric and then yeah. makes pillows for us. Um, soft goods like tea towels and and um, sour, uh, sour. <laughs> sorry, flour sack napkins. Uh, say that three times fast. <laughs> well, it sounds like you have so many great products we for the do. holiday season. Yeah, ab absolutely. Over 200 vendors, about 5,000 different SKUs in the store, and yeah, just about something for everyone. And what's really great about it, what our customers love, and we would expect they share with the recipients of the gift or the stories behind it. Every Every product, you know, we know the maker, we yeah. know their families, we know their passions, their path to their, you know, through their creative process, and um, they're passionate and committed to their crafts and and w and us to them, and we share that with the customers. The customers share it with the recipients, and it just makes a gift that much more meaningful, uh, mm. you know, all through the process. Oh, that's wonderful. 
And what kind of local impact do you also have? It sounds like you do a lot of work with nonprofits we also. We do. In the area. Uh, you know, that was kind of the, the beginnings of the company in working with schools. Uh, and Tina and I both come from a nonprofit background. That's really how we met each other. Mm -hmm. And so we've got a strong commitment to the communities in which we're located and serve. We feel that uh, that's an obligation, you know, as an individual, as a business owner. And so we'll do shopping days throughout the year for, for various nonprofits where you know, donate a portion of the, the day or the weekend sales. And uh, the other way we do is we have a number of um, cause-related products, so your direct purchase supports, feeding the homeless, uh, feeding the hungry. Um, we've got some that are more you know, cause-related to uh, fighting cancer, um, contributing towards literacy programs. And so there's another opportunity for people to buy something with, you know, some meaning behind it. Yeah, that's great. So, you know, I mean, you know that your product is you know, helping local economy as well as Absolutely. some also great causes. Absolutely. Uh, thanks so much to Paul. Um, please go out and visit uh, Just Jersey here in Morristown, also at their second location in Montclair. Um, please so support local businesses uh, to create stronger communities. Um, if you like this video, please share it. And also, if you don't want to miss future videos, go to Buy Local NJ to subscribe to our blog. Thanks a lot. Terrific. Thanks, Paul. Thank you.